We work on MRSA, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. It's the most common cause of human infection in this country, and so we often carry it benignly even on our skin or other body parts. In immunocompromised patients, um, particularly in hospitals, this thing is rampant because you've got a lot of sick people and healthy bacteria. So particularly if you have an open wound or a cut in the skin, it's very easy to get MRSA into there. And it, it's the leading cause of skin infections. And, and the skin is our largest organ, so it's a very major problem. The problem we have uh, in this country and globally is that we develop antibiotics, but resistance develop very quickly. And so we're in a position where we have still an enormous number of infections, but very limited treatment options for people. So we've been working on a, a class of compounds that the chemical name is quinazolin, and we've developed novel versions of these that seem to work against MRSA, methicillin-resistant staph aureus infections, which kill tens of thousands of people a year, and there are hundreds of thousands of infections uh, in this country alone. And, and they work not only against MRSA, but they also work against another bacterium. It's called Acinetobacter bomonii, more typically known in the, in the, in the common media as Arachibacter. It's a big problem in the Middle East with our troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. And so this is another bacteria that causes a lot of problems, kills a lot of people, and is very drug resistant and hard to treat. We have found actually a group of compounds that worked really well against both Acinetobacter and Staphylococcus. Typically what we do is start out with doing what's called a Kirby-Bauer assay or uh, disc diffusions. We take those samples that they give us and then screen them to find out which ones work best, so what modifications work best against the bacteria. The quinazoline class has been around a long time to treat a lot of different things, but the ones that we've developed chemically are different to those that exist before. And so discovered entirely here in USF, campus created and designed here at USF. Uh, specifically towards MRSA and, and Acinetobacter infections. And so chemically they're completely different to anything people have done before. If they continue to clear the hurdles as they do, they're, they're quite promising. We, we really don't see a lot of resistance with these things. Um, we do find that they work against a certain lifestyle the bacteria have called biofilms. And so when things go into the human body, such as pacemakers and pins and plates, biofilms develop on those and they're very, very hard to treat, even more so than a regular infection. And we find that, uh, at least with our acinetobacter testing, some of these compounds are quite efficacious against these biofilm infections. And so this is another plus for this, this class of drugs that makes us very excited.